tell me first and foremost, for anybody that didn't see the last time you were on, how did you get into this field? It's, I got sick from a toxic home. And mm -hmm. a lot of the things we're talking about, chemicals in our home from cleaning products, toxic pesticides, even our own bedding. We're just loaded with chemicals in our homes and we're breathing them in and we don't even realize that. Now, you just mentioned pesticides. I think in our lives, uh, getting rid of the creepy crawlers, it's mm -hmm. one of those that we just assume that we, uh, we have to do poisons, right? The, the aisle of death, the, the <laughs> top of skull and terror, crossbones. the skull and crossbones. <laughs> we don't everywhere. have to. Yeah. So, first of all, is there a time that they're more prevalent in the house that we need to consider this? There really is. You know, typically spring, uh, insects are more prevalent just because it's warmer outside mm. and also there's higher moisture content. Mm. However, <laughs> if they infest your home and they make it their home, you have a year long problem. Yes. Ooh, fun. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Sounds so great. Okay, so <laughs> a year-long problem to now deal with, and yeah. we know that most of the choices on the market, they've got pretty harsh chemicals in them. How do we know exactly what it is we're buying and what should we look for? That is a great question, and what you want to look for, it's called the signal word. Hmm. Every pesticide registered has to have the word caution, warning, or danger, and that word indicates the level of toxicity. Caution indicates it's the lowest toxicity. Warning means medium. And if you see the word danger, Brett, run for the hills mm -hmm. because you don't want that product in your house, around your family, around your pets. Well, let's say I have two kids. <laughs> I have a dog. I have two cats. As far as I'm concerned, caution is just as bad. I'm running for the hills for all of them. <laughs> right. But I know there's not a lot of options out there, but you guys have got some creative ways, right? You were telling me about a solution for ants, right, that requires no chemicals. Absolutely. So we have a simple strategy you can implement right away. We call it the ABCs to ant control. So A is awareness. You have to be aware of where the ants are coming from. You follow that chemical trail of pheromones back to the crack in your home. B is barrier. So you want to create a natural barrier. I commonly use coffee grounds that kind of traps them in there. And finally, C, you want to clean the perimeter of that barrier with soapy water. That chemical trail cleans it very nice with the, with the soapy water. And finally, you place the non-toxic bait trap right in the zone, and you have them. <laughs> well, so there you go. A simple, easy way to get rid of a common creepy crawler without any chemicals. This right. is what bowel biology is all about, and this is what Ron and Lisa are going to continue to share with us throughout our healthy home time together.